What's up YouTube today? We're going to take a look at lead code problem number 595. Big countries, mark this easy. Let's get straight into it. So we have an SQL table called World, which has five fields, name, continent, area, population, GDP. So we have a bunch of countries in their, their continent, area in terms of maybe square meters, square miles, population and GDP as gross domestic product, so some kind of financial information. And our task is that a country is big if it has an area of bigger than 3 million square kilometers or a population of more than 25 million. So area is given in square kilometers, that's what we can assume. It's also important to state that when you're in an interview because it could be meters or miles. And given the question, you can just assume that it is given in that unit but it's always good to say that and make sure. Write a SQL solution to output big countries name, population and area. So these three fields, for example, according to the above table, we should output Afghanistan and Algeria. So let's get into writing some code. It's a pretty easy question. That's why I like it because easy questions should really be easy. We want to select name, population, an area, that's what we get from the output below. I always check that to see what I need to output in the end. From that table world, I usually split that up in a new row, so select from where, which is your basic query, and where comes in with the conditions of having an area of bigger than 3 million square kilometers, which is an area, or a population of more than 25 million should always read carefully if it says or or and. In this case it states or, so using and in here would be, would be wrong. So area should be bigger than 3 million, so a 3 with 6 zeros, or the population should be higher than 25 million. 25 six zeros and if we run that statement we have an output of Afghanistan and Algeria we don't need to sort our output there is no such condition in the problem statement so that's already it for this problem I said it was going to be an easy one and I think it's a good way to really learn the basics and just have a default query because most of the time you're gonna look at something similar to that or some aggregate functions and that's already taking you pretty far. Anyways, that's been it for this video. I'm gonna go through all LeetCode database problems starting out with the easy ones and the ones that are available for free without having LeetCode Premium so everyone can follow along and study with me. And if you want to keep learning, just make sure to check my new videos or subscribe to the channel to study along. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.